Hi, this is Nam from CodeJava.net. In this video, I will guide you how to create a Java web project in Eclipse IDE with Maven Build Support. This is my Eclipse IDE. And uh, make sure that the current perspective in Eclipse IDE is a Java EE perspective, as you can see here. And normally, to create a Maven project in Eclipse, uh, you can uh, go to the menu file, new, uh, Maven project here. You see, in this new Maven project uh, dialog, click next, and you can see there's a list of uh, built in uh, archetype uh, or kind of uh, Maven uh, projects. Uh, listed here, but none of these uh, archetypes can uh, create a simple and uh, properly configure uh, Java web project. So uh, that means uh, we can't use this uh, new Maven project dialog to uh, create a Java uh, web project uh, with Maven uh, view support. So uh, click cancel. So the proper way to uh, create a Java uh, web project with Maven support uh, is uh, create uh, the Java web project uh, normally in Eclipse. Uh, right, new uh, dynamic uh, web project uh, option here. Dynamic web project and enter the project name. Yeah, for example, my Java web app. Choose a dynamic web module version. Is a sublit API version here. Yeah. Okay. Click next next uh, and finish and you can see the project uh, what created here my java web app this is a standard uh, java dynamic web project in eclipse ide uh, you can see the web content directory is uh, for web files html css javascript JSP and this is a Java resource directory for the source code in uh, Java. Now, to convert this uh, Java dynamic web project to use Maven Build, uh, right click on this project and you can see uh, the menu configure mm. convert to Maven project here. And this is a, a dialog that allows uh, we specify information for the uh, Maven project group ID dot code Java group ID is normally the reverse domain name of the organization of the company. Artifact ID packaging work uh, because uh, this year Java web application so the packaging type uh, should be word as default you can see here uh, that's it and just uh, click finish and you can see uh, our project is converted to uh, maven project which support maven build you can see the project icon has the uh, the M letter here indicating this year Maven project and you can see uh, under the project uh, root directory there's uh, Maven uh, project uh, object management file or the uh, pom.xml uh, file here you see and basically we configure uh, dependencies for the project in this uh, file
and uh, you can see uh, Eclipse uh, automatically opens the form.html file in the editor here and you can see this is the initial code uh, of the form.html file and for Java web uh, dynamic uh, project uh, you should uh, specify the dependency for Java service API in the bomb dot icon file here so go to the end of this file and uh, type uh, dependencies here this is a list of dependency for the project and now we specify a single dependency single dependency and specify the uh, group id is java x dot uh, split and artifact id is java x dot split api and the version is uh, I use sublit version uh, 2.0.1. Okay, and uh, save the bomb.xml file. And uh, you can see under the libraries uh, here, Maven dependency, you can see the RAW file for Java Subit API uh, appears here. Uh, that means you can now write Java Subit classes, uh, for example. Uh, Create a new Java package here. Java sublet here. Mm, hello, sublet. Sorry, the package name. Class name is hello sublet and package name is uh, net.codejava. Uh, next, uh, it is the UI mapping. For example, what was last? Uh, hello. Okay. And click uh, next. Uh, implement the do that method only. Finish. And you see a new Java service class is created using the Java service API. You can see the HTTP uh, service here. Okay, so that's uh, the steps to create a Java web project in Eclipse uh, with Maven support. And thank you for watching.